Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob, I hope you're doing good. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different and do a little bit of a modification I've been wanting to do for a little while on my Fender Strat, my Mexican Strat, which is to basically swap the stock tuners that came with the guitar. Since I got this guitar, I've done absolutely nothing to it. I've not done any changes other than obviously string changes, haven't changed the pickups, haven't messed about with the bridge. I've taken the volume and tone controls off just because I might have said in a previous video that they get in my way. Um, they feel a little bit in the way, but if you take them off, they're not as as bad because it's just left with the these little pegs here rather than the big bulky uh, dials. But other than that, I haven't actually done anything to this guitar and I haven't really wanted to because in all honesty, I think it's pretty good as it is. And as the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, there's always little improvements that can be made. And I think one of the best things you can do for any guitar is to get locking tuners. These are just the stock tuners that came with the guitar. They are actually very good. I've never really had any issues with them. They've even got a very nice Fender logo on the back of them, so they look good. Despite being functional, they actually look good as well. But they're not locking, so that's what I wanna to do today. I wanna to upgrade them with some locking tuners, which I've been wanting to do for a while. The locking tuners that I've got are also tuners that I've had for a while, but I've had them on my spare guitar. This is my cheap Stratocaster copy which I've made a video about. And I said in that video that I got a replacement neck. This isn't the original neck that came on this guitar because I had to swap it because I butchered the other one. And the neck that came didn't have any tuners with it. So I got these ones for this guitar, but it's baffled me for a little while that my cheaper spare guitar has had the better tuners than my actual Fender. So I thought today would finally be the day that I swap them and put these really nice Fender locking tuners on my actual Fender guitar. I think these things cost about £60 a few years ago. I've never had any issues with these as well. They feel really, really good. They hold tuning amazingly because all you have to do with these is put the string through the peg, pull it right through, tighten it up with a locking thing and tune it up. You don't really have to wrap it around the peg loads of times because it's locked in. Uh, so it makes string changes really, really quick, which will be better for that guitar as well because I use that one more. So even making the string changes a little bit quicker is a great modification to do. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but these first three machine heads are actually sitting higher than these three. These three here uh, on, the, on the high strings are lower into the neck, which kind of gets rid of the need for a string tree. My Fender has a string tree and I'm probably gonna leave that one on just because otherwise there'd be a bit of a gaping hole in the middle of the headstock where the screw was if I took that off. So yeah, that's pretty much it. First things first, I need to take the strings off these guitars and then take out the tuners. Okay, so all the strings are off and all I need to do now is swap the tuners. Rather than take all of the tuners off each guitar and then just put them all on and swap them that way, I'm probably gonna do it one by one because like I said earlier, the locking tuners, three of them are smaller on the high strings and the low strings, the locking tuners are a little bit taller, the actual pegs where the string goes through. So I don't wanna get them mixed up. So I'm gonna do it one by one and just make sure that they're in the right place. Also the original Fender tuners off my Strat are staggered. It looks like a little bit so that um, as they go further down, these pegs get a little bit smaller, which I think is because that eliminates the need for more than one string tree. That's why you only get one string tree here for the first and second string. You don't need one for the third and fourth, etc., cetera, um, because they're staggered, they're different heights. I don't wanna get anything mixed up, so I'm just gonna swap them one by one. Also, I remember the Fender locking tuners, when I put them on this guitar, for lack of a better word, they have two little nipple sort of things on the back, two little notches. Um, and Fender guitars apparently have two little notch holes in the back so that they just sit in nice. Whereas this guitar obviously wasn't made by Fender, this neck. So I had to drill two little notch holes so that these Fender tuners could sit inside. So I'm really hoping that my Fender neck has those notch holes and I don't have to drill them. Apparently it's a Fender thing, so hopefully that will all be fine. But yeah, I remember it being a little bit of a pain having to drill extra holes just so these Fender locking tuners fit in. So if you're putting Fender locking tuners on a guitar that isn't a Fender, be careful of that. I'll show you what I mean in a second when I start taking them off, but hopefully I won't have any issues. So let's get started. So here we are, I don't have a guitar rest, so I'm just using an old Boss tuner box to rest my guitar headstock on whilst I take these off. So. I'm gonna start with the high E string one first, and this is taking the original Fender one off, and let's take it off and see what it looks like. Here we go, this is the tuner I've just taken out, and it goes through the wood like that, and it's got this little bolt here, 
that just sits on the top like that, that screws in, and that's what screws in your guitar. It looks like it's just this little circular bit at the top when you when you screw that on, but it's not. It's actually got this entire thread part there, so that goes over the top and sits in there like that. But as I said earlier about the Fender ones, if you can see these two little notches here either side, I'm glad to see those, which means that this guitar has those slots. If I just turn this over, hopefully this will come up on camera. It has the hole for the tuner and these two little notches here for the fender locking tuners to sit in. So that's good news. So that means there's no drilling required for me to do this. So I'm really happy about that. So as I said earlier, I was going to take them off one by one and swap them one by one. But whilst I've got this here, I may as well just take these all off and I'll just make sure that I keep them in the right order so that when I put them on the other guitar, I put them on correctly, etc. These things have been in the guitar for so long that they're actually pretty stiff. So I'm actually having to push them out quite a lot because they've like really stuck inside the wood because they've been in there for God knows how long. Don't actually know how old my guitar is. I think this guitar is a 90s model. So even then it's probably been in the guitar for 20 odd years. So here we are, here's all the six tuners that I've taken off. This is the high E string all the way down to the low E string. And as I said about the slots, hopefully you can still see that. You've got the holes here for the tuners to go through and these little notches for the little notches on the machine heads of the tuners to go through as well, which is the same on the locking tuners that I'm about to put on. So I'm gonna move these out of the way, but I'm gonna keep them in this order so I know to put them on high E down to the low E back on my other guitar so that I don't get those mixed up because they're different heights. So let's crack on. Here we go, here they are, they're all out now, all in order. This one doesn't want to stay up, but that's fine. There's always an awkward one, isn't there? This is the low string and this is the high string. These last three ones here that I took out, they did not want to come out of the guitar, so I had to give them a little tap with my screwdriver just to get them out, but that's fine, they're all good. And let's give you a, a closer look at these Fender locking tuners. They just look amazing. Hopefully you can see this on the camera, but they've got the nice F, Fender logo F on the top there, which is the turny dial. You just turn that to lock the string in, perfectly in tune, which locks the string in a little machine head peg at the top there. So you pull it through, lock it in, tune it up, good to go. With these two little notches on the side as well to sit in the little recesses in the wood. Just a little fender thing there. So like I said, if you don't have a fender guitar but you get some of these tuners, just be aware of that. And that's it. Now I'm going to put them on my Fender guitar. So there we go, now we have the locking tuners on my Fender guitar and they fit absolutely perfectly, there was no issues. It was a little bit awkward with this thing trying to tighten these up, it kept slipping off and stuff like that but and I've just realised why the Fender tuners have those little notches that stick out which stick in the wood, like it's got those two little things at the side um, and I'm pretty sure it's because when you're tightening up this screw at the front here like that, these aren't then going to twist whilst you're trying to tighten it, the notches hold it in place. So that's why I think those are there and if that's the case then that's a great idea. Didn't think of it until I was actually doing it. I went, well, and now that makes sense. So yeah, they're on now, and all I need to do now is restring it. So here we go, let's get the strings open. I use Ernie Ball 9s, but other string choices are available. So now I'm gonna take the sixth string, open that one up, and show you the best thing about these locking tuners is now, like I said, you can put the string through the guitar, through the peg at the top there, and you don't have to worry about trying to get the right height to sort of then wrap it round loads of times. You don't have to do that anymore. You literally just take the string, thread it through the peg, pull it tight there, tighten the locking tuner, tune it up, good to go. So let's show you that now. And obviously before you do this, make sure that the all the locking screws at the back are undone so that you can tighten them later. So make sure that the hole is facing the way that the string is going. So I can just put the string straight through there, pull it tight, Pull it through there, pull it tight there. See, not wrapped it round. Turn the screw at the back to lock that string in really tight. There we go. Now tune the string up. So 
There we go, that string is done. That took two seconds to do. So there we go, in absolutely no time at all. That was the quickest restring I've ever done on this guitar. Haven't tuned it up yet, but all the strings obviously you can see are there. So I'll just put them straight through the pegs, tighten them up, and there we go. So now I'm gonna give it a quick tune up and chop all the ends off. Excellent, so I've just given it a quick tune up only by ear, I don't know if it's accurate, I just tuned it up to what I think is roughly around standard tuning. So there you go, that is my Fender guitar now upgraded with Fender locking tuners which look great and I, like I said I can't believe how quick that was to restring, it took literally five minutes to restring, tune up and I'm good to go. So if I had to restring in a rush, maybe at a gig or anything like that and I had no time to do it, either in between sets or something like that, or between sound check and actually playing the gig. If I didn't have time to restring beforehand uh, and I'm in a rush, locking tuners are the way to go. They look great. I keep saying that, they just look amazing. I really like the Fender logo on the back, so I'm really glad that these are on this guitar now. I can't believe it's taken me so long to actually do that. All this time, I've had the better tuners on the worst guitar. Even though that guitar's not bad, but this is my better guitar, so now it makes sense to have the better tuners on my better guitar. The basic gist of locking tuners is that they lock the string into the peg there, so there is no slippage on the peg, the string doesn't unwind a little bit or slip at all, so that when you string it up and you tune it up, lock it in, and then the string isn't gonna slip at all, and overall tuning stability should be improved. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out and seeing if there's any dramatic improvements. It was pretty good to start with, so I might not notice too many improvements, it might just be pretty much the same because it was already good, but it should just be slightly better now. And I didn't take the string tree off. Didn't really see the point. Like I said, if I took that off, there'd just be a hole in my headstock, which I didn't want, so I left it on. So there you go, hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope it wasn't too boring for me just changing some tuners on a guitar. But if anyone is wanting to do that on their guitar, then hopefully this video has helped them out with the process, etc. Things to watch out for. Or if anyone is curious about the Fender tuners, if they're any good, I've had these for years on my other guitar, never had any issues with them. They're absolutely great. So like I said, cost about 60 quid, I think, brand new. So I don't know how much they are now, whether they've gone down in price or they're about the same, no idea. I'll put a link in the description. I'll try and find some where you can get some um, if anyone's interested in getting some of these. So check that out. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did enjoy this video, then please click here to see another, click down here to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.